second nomination, second win. What does this honor mean to you? Just that. It's such an honor. It is, it is truly like something I never would have even dreamed about. Um, just the most unrealistic idea of all time. I think like, you know, if we were, when we were kids, if I had had a dream that was like, dude, we won a Golden Globe, then also another one. <laughs> I'd be like, wait, no, that doesn't make any sense. And it just, every day that goes by, it makes less and less sense. So it's the coolest thing in the world. Well, it makes sense to all of us that love your work. And Phineas, <laughs> it was actually really surprising to hear that the project wasn't an immediate yes. It was a maybe at first. What changed your mind? Um, I think I know what you're referring to in that. Mm -hmm. Like, I I remember seeing like the announcement that um, Margot was producing it and Greta was directing it and her and Noah had written it. I remember thinking, ooh, I'm really excited for whatever that movie is. Mm -hmm. And then I remember seeing like the press photos of them on the beach that were all over the internet. Mm -hmm. And I just remember being like, this movie's gonna be huge. I hope it's, I hope it's great. Mm -hmm. um, and so when we got put in touch with Greta and Mark, um, you know, again, like I was really excited and just as kind of a fan, I was like, oh, I can't wait to see it. But I've, I've said this a couple times, like when we get approached to be involved in anything, you know, we try to approach it from a like, what can we add to this thing? Um, and sometimes, and this has happened, um, we have seen great film or great television, and they've asked us if we wanted to contribute in any way, and it has been great, but we, we haven't had an angle. We haven't had a thing that yeah. we have to say to sort of put our stamp on it. And so it wasn't until after we'd seen it that we sort of, that it spoke to us and moved us in a you know unique way, and then we, we knew thought, it would speak to us, but we didn't know if we could make something good. It's really that's really all it is, you know. Well, I have to say, you didn't just make something really good. I mean, I, when I think about that that song and when it was played at the film, like I just it kept echoing in my head oh, when I left you. the theater. I get it. Thank you. you. Get emotional about that's it. That's very right? kind of you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you so, um, much. so you said during the writing process you didn't think about yourself, but it was your most <laughs> personal song yet. Can you? <laughs> Tell us a little bit about that journey. Yeah, it was pretty eerie. Um, you know, I remember like specifically like the moment of sitting in Phineas's studio and writing it and saying something about, I think the, the second verse about, you know, whatever, she's talking about Ken and we were talking about Ken and I remember the words coming out of my mouth and it was like, Ken, Barbie, you know, the, the car and driving and not feeling real and being bought and all these things. And I remember thinking like, this isn't, is this about, no, wrong. Literally like a day or two later, I just was like, oh my God, this is the most honest I've ever been, but I didn't mean to be. And I think that's how I was, you know, we were able to be that honest. I don't, I, I've said this before, but I don't think, I don't, I 100% I think that song would never have been able to be written had we not been able to um, be less vulnerable. Like we were writing for, about something else and it didn't have to be vulnerable. It had to be understanding. And I think once it was written was when I was like, oh my God, this is, this is about me. It was crazy. It was genius. And I just have to ask you, because it's Hollywood's biggest party. You guys are no stranger to this. What does the rest of the night historically look like for you guys? Ooh, historically. Well, okay, so just, just candidly, uh -huh. even though we have been lucky enough to like be at some award shows, a couple of those were like super pandemic-y like award yeah. shows. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And our, my, my most sort of like fond memory of all of this was like after like w the COVID Grammys, uh, we got invited to like something afterward and they were like, it's gonna be very low key. Oh and this was like, God. this was like the Grammys that this were like, the maybe the day were... that the vaccine came yeah, out or whatever. Like masked, so it was like very fresh. Fully masked, everyone and, was far And I remember apart. we like, they were like, come to this party, it's gonna be very low key. And we like got to the it's outside COVID and we could safe. see through like the door, like all the light of the <laughs> rave that was happening on the inside. <laughs> that was and crazy. we pulled up and they like parked our car or whatever. And we were like, no, and then I remember like the, our, our our security our, said I, we about to roll out. <laughs> Immediately, yeah, they, we pulled up and we the were door, They opened the door to like <laughs> let us into the thing, and he went, "We're about to roll out." And it was, like, <laughs> it was we so had good. Anyway, COVID, but, dude. So we I'm excited no, to have, have no, no COVID tonight. Green, that's so all. tonight you're gonna hit up the parties. Ha parties. Yeah. We're partying, I guess. Fantastic. Well, thank you guys so much for stopping and talking to us. Thank we'll you. Thanks for having us.